Well girls, thank you so much for joining us. We're down here at Aruba on Bournemouth Beach. We're going to be chatting with a tea and a coffee about all things women's football. We're going to talk to you about your season so far, the game at the stadium, life outside of work. We're going to get it all. Now Maisie, I'm going to kick off with you. Yeah. You're the captain of the side. Just sum it up for us this year so far. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a great season. I mean, we were unbeaten for, for quite a while, obviously until Sunday. But, um, but yeah, we're having a great season, brought in a lot of new players, which has been great. Um, some of the youngsters have come up, so their first season in National League, which has been great for them. And if anybody said to us we'd be in the position we are now, this time last year, I would have been like, no way. So, no, it's been a really enjoyable season, loving it so far. Sam, you've just come in this season, you joined in the summer from Neighbours Pool Town. You had experience of Tier 4 football. How have you found it playing Tier 4 football with AFC Bournemouth? I've been really great. I think the team have massively exceeded everyone's expectations. They've done so well. I think they've proven a lot of people wrong as well, proven that they, they belong in this league as well. Challenged every game that they've played in. I think they've done really, really well. How I got her to come to Bournemouth, I'll never know. <laughs> I literally never know. This girl was a girl that literally would never leave full town. When I messaged her and she was like, yeah, I'm thinking about leaving, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So, so we're putting it down to you that Sam's come this season. Yeah, I'm still asking Steve for my money for that. But <laughs> <laughs> and we've had quite a few new players come this season, like some Becky Bath, Katie James, Jade Bradley. How much have they settled in with the group? Obviously, I know we're quite far into the season now, but they all came, they're all fresh faces. They all had the experience of tier four football. How nice was that for you? Yeah, guys? amazing. Um, you know, I think they've made a massive impact on us this season, having experience in the league above. Um, obviously, we've had some youngsters come up, so, so them girls have really helped out the youngsters as well. And so yeah, it's great to have them, them, them girls. How impressed have you been with those younger ones? We've had Lucy Cooper, Ellie Elkins, Hannah Francis. They've done so well, Absolutely haven't they? Absolutely amazing. I don't think if you were to line them up with everyone else, you wouldn't be able to pull them out that they were had any less experience or were any younger than anyone. They've stepped straight in and fit straight in really well. Well, we need to talk about Lucy Cooper because she's just won March's Goal of the one oh Month Award. Oh my God, she's goal. insane. <laughs> Honestly, I literally, I think somebody, before she scored that goal, somebody had just got injured and we were like standing around. I said to Lucy, I said, Lucy, just be confident and take someone on and shoot. Two seconds later, she did that. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I was like, I'm going to say that to you every week now. It was an amazing goal. And oh, imagine at that age to win, win Goal of the Month. She must have been... Buzzing. So you're she taking, deserves it. Taking the credit for I that one so. as well. I'm taking credit for everyone. I'm taking credit for Sam, <laughs> Lucy, everything. No, in all seriousness, it's been great this year, hasn't it? Because we've had Lucy had that have that recognition. We've had Becky win that award mm -hmm. earlier in the season. We had Becky on our club podcast, and the integration between the men's team and the women's team this year seems to be it's amazing. Better than ever. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've been at Bournemouth what four or five seasons now, and it's just amazing to see how far it's come. And like the tops the other day, it's just. Things like that that are just, it's, it's so nice. Let's, let's talk about that. I mean, I don't think either of you are at the game, but when you found out that Mark Travers was warming up in the shirt that said Crips 12 on the back and you saw Lloyd Kelly yeah. with, with Smith and your number on the back, that must have been a, quite a surreal moment for yeah, you both. Yeah, believe it. When so KJ good. sent me a picture, I was like, oh, shut up. Like, I didn't believe her. And then when I saw it on Twitter, that they were, I was like, oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. But, yeah, it's, it's so nice. It's quality. I love it. Now, for you, you've obviously been here five years. What sort of are the changes that you've seen? Even small things like, for example, now you're all in the same kit. You've got a bus that takes you to away games. Before, it would all have to be very much self-funded, right? Yeah, very. Like I remember when I first joined and we were like putting the goals out. And now we, we would never do that. Like, yeah, we would like dragging the goals out and everything and like the little mini, mini bus. It's just so much has changed. Now we go up on the coach as a team and things like that. Just it's just brilliant. Yeah. Now for you girls, we've got a really, really exciting end to the season because we're talking about another first here, the first league game for our women's team at Vitality Stadium. Just talk to us about how you found out that was going to be happening and, and your thought process. Um, I think I've played at the Vitality twice now and both times I got cramp. Um, <laughs> so that's not so exciting, but yeah, it's lovely playing there. We haven't played a league game there, so every time we've played there, it's, it's been a friendly, which is, is, is good as well. But playing a league game there would be really interesting, really good. And you've never played there, have you, Sam? We've no. had some friendlies there before, but you've never, you yeah. weren't here. No, nothing. I did the open session that was there before Christmas with the younger ones that were there, and that was really good in itself, just playing in front of them. and. 
um, afterwards signing all the bits and pieces for them and pictures and that. But no, a, a game would be a completely different ball game. I think would be really good, really nice experience. You girls, you you're not even part time. You know, you don't get paid to play, but you get so much from it. So when you have little girls coming up to you asking you for autographs at the side of the pitch and, and things like that, is that a bit of a, a surreal moment? It's, it's mad. I think they got they got a picture of me. One of the girls asked for a picture, and there's a picture of me having my picture taken. I think I was more buzzing to ha be asked to have it done than what she was getting yeah. it taken. That's how I feel. I'm like a fan of my fan. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm like, do you want a picture with me? Like, can I have one with you? Are you talking to me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm sure you're probably going to get a lot more of that, you know, as you get the exposure of playing at the stadium and you get that exposure of playing in front of a bigger crowd. How nice is it for you when you look up at that crowd and you see all those little girls there because they were there for the open training session and you guys are an inspiration to them because you were that little girl one day. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's amazing, you know. Like like I say, when I joined Bournemouth four or five years ago, you didn't get that then. And now when, when I see things like that, it's just it just goes to show how far we've come. It's amazing and I've got... Um, a girl that plays for the under 10s who, who's a massive fan now and um, her dad sent me a picture the other day she's had a photo framed with me and her it's just it's just crazy I'm like oh my god I'm just to me I'm just a normal person that gets up in the morning and goes to work so it seems 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 strange but it's amazing well I do also want to talk to you both about work because as we've just said you know you're not full-time professional footballers you do have lives you do have a job to go to you have a, you're, you're nine to five now you both work for the NHS Maisie, I'll start with you. Just explain for those people who don't know, you know, what, what you do every day. So I work in a in a rehab ward. Uh, yeah, a rehab ward. I work with patients over the age of 65 um, that have had either an operation or an illness or something, trying to get them back to their their mobility and that before they had um, the illness or something. But yeah, um, I've worked in the NHS for about five or six years now, and um, on top of that, play football. So yeah, I work full time then go to football training after. I used to work 12 hour shifts then go straight to training. So it is hard, but when you love football, it's what you do, so. Sam, you're a student nurse. Just tell us a little bit more about that. That must be very rewarding as well. It is very rewarding. Um, only started in September though, so I'm still pretty new. But um, before, like Maisie, I work in a, a, at Paul Hospital. So doing a similar sort of stuff to Maisie as a HCA. Um, but I've done that for five years and I, I love it. Absolutely love it. Now we normally play in front of 150, 200 people down at Verwood. It's fantastic. I mean, the support we get is brilliant considering we're, you know, 20 minutes away from Bournemouth as it is in Verwood. To have this game at the stadium, I think we've sold about 800 tickets so far. How amazing would it be to see as many people in that stadium as possible, as many Bournemouth fans as, as can get there? Yeah, it'd be amazing. Really, really good. For them to see it as well, I think for some of them it might be the first time that they would have watched a women's game, maybe, and in a stadium, definitely. But yeah, it'd be really good. Really nice to get a win for them as well. What would your message be to anyone that's watching this and is thinking of coming down to that game on the 10th of April against Chesham? My message would be, don't think about it, just come. Just come. <laughs> it will be worth it, honestly. It absolutely will. It will be very much worth it. Well, girls, thank you so much for joining us. It's been lovely to catch up, sit down, and, yeah, we're looking forward to that one on the 10th of April against Chesham United. Be there. Be there. <laughs>